Now turn to section three. Section three. You will hear a talk between a professor and a student. First, you have some time to look at questions twenty-one to thirty. Now listen carefully and answer questions twenty-one to thirty. Good morning, Clara. Take a seat. Right, I've read your first draft of your project on housing. Well done. Thank you. I know it's only a first draft, though, so I'm sure you have some suggestions on how it can be improved. I was very nervous at first because it wasn't my first choice of topic. I had wanted to do something on voting patterns, but. Getting information, well, it didn't look possible within the time frame. Don't worry, I think that you have made a good choice. Yes, a comparison of the factors influencing house prices, very topical. Definitely, there seems to be something about housing prices in the newspapers every day. I just wanted to compare the different factors. You know, location, the proximity of facilities such as schools. As I said. A good choice of topic. Now the first part is very well done. You clearly introduce what you are going to look at, why and how. Do you think that I have covered enough points there? I think so. Did you have anything else in mind? You know, something else you'd like to cover. Well, a friend suggested that I might include crime rates. Actually, that's a very good idea. You might consider it. It is something that many people take into account, consciously or otherwise, when choosing a place to live. Nowadays, the police are required to keep quite detailed statistics on crime, and you can get them fairly easily. I mean, it's easy enough to ask for them, but it might take a while for the police to get them to you. Okay, I'll make a note of that. Contact police for crime statistics. Now I have to say that I found the middle part more difficult to get through. Oh, I thought I had done that rather well. Don't worry, it's not awful. It's just that, well, try to take a uniform approach. Use one for each criteria people use when choosing housing. That way, you're comparing like with like rather than different things. I see. So I should stick with one as far as possible. Yes, that does seem logical. So I don't really need to get more data or write much more. Instead, I need to change. I've got it. It just makes it a lot easier to read. That's the main thing. Yes, of course. How about the conclusion? Based on the information you've provided, I think that you've done very well. You'll have to see if the new information you include changes your conclusion at all. It probably won't make a big difference. But you might see variations in some areas. Okay. Do you think that I used appropriate headings, and is the bibliography okay? I know that a lot of professors look long and hard at that, whilst most students think it's unimportant. Yes, professors find the bibliography very useful. It tells us where you are getting your information from and whether those sources are appropriate. Your bibliography is fine, but you might consider changing the format. Here's a printout of the most widely accepted format. You can keep that. Thank you. And the headings? I made a few notes. Here are some suggestions. Don't feel that you have to use them. I won't be offended. But some of your headings are long-winded, whereas others are relatively short, as they should be. Thank you. I'll take a look at these later. How long did you work on the whole thing? Well, two months, perhaps on average of three hours a day, not more than that. Probably a、uh, one hundred and fifty hours. That's about what I would recommend. Anything less than a hundred and twenty hours is going to be detrimental to the project. You'll probably need another fifty hours work on it in total. You've still got a month, so you should manage it easily. Yes, a couple of hours a day, easy. I'd suggest that you come back to see me in oh about let's say three weeks' time. Then you should be virtually finished, and I can have another look before you do your final proofreading, before handing it in.
OK, I'll see you after one of the seminars to make an appointment. Is that OK? Certainly. Thanks, Clara. Thank you, Professor. That is the end of Section 3. You now have half a minute to check your answers.